Drones have advanced exponentially in a very short time, so rightfully their programming and features have also advanced. In this video I attempt to capture as best I can the abilities of Follow Me with the Paradanafi. I thought about completing the comparison between the Mavic 2 Pro and the Anafi, but this would still be an unfair comparison, so I'll put them through their paces individually in separate videos and you can develop your own conclusions on both of them. Since the explosion of the internet and the ability to freely share images and videos online, the race to upload videos of yourself in the great outdoors has almost become a competition. Before the age of camera drones, we gave our trusted cameras to our friends, family, and sometimes strangers to take that shot of you with that stunning background. Now we have the luxury of taking them ourselves using our drones. Fast forward a few years and drones have advanced so much that they can not only capture you from a third person view, they can also track and follow you. Like this example. The Paradonafi uses a pilot device GPS coupled with an object tracking algorithm dubbed Cameraman. Cameraman orients the camera's field of view to keep the subject in frame, while the GPS coordinates being transmitted from the pilot device renders the subject movement. Thus, the following of the subject. Using the controller is always advisable as it has the best signal penetration and takes the most of the hard work away from your phone, ensuring optimal performance on all devices. However, if you're going to be as dumb as me and try to do this on your bike with your controller, expect to have a fallen broken phone. Furthermore, the Anafi does not shy away when using the phone only. With a little shame and bruised ego, I packed the controller in my camelback and connected the phone directly to the drone. You can use a bike mount or a wristband to holster the phone. This from my experience have had no issues. If your phone has a barometer, the drone will ascend and descend relative to you. If your phone does not have this, the drone will maintain its altitude and not descend or ascend if you do. Paradonafi Follow Me works well. Condition, you have the controller or phone with you and you are contrasting enough. It is not possible to follow a subject that does not have the device. However, you can track a subject using cameraman while piloting the drone manually to follow the subject. The Paradonafi is lacking in obstacle avoidance, making it more prone to accidents when following a subject. Not that DJI is any better, they still have a questionable obstacle avoidance system. Anything smaller than a tree stump and its avoidance system is as good as a non-existent obstacle avoidance on the Anafi. It is quiet, so not to be a nuisance to others and wildlife when passing through their habitat. The drone is IP5X rated dust and flyable in rain. The drone is light and has a thin profile when folded allowing it to be transported in training backpacks that are normally small and light. I see myself using the Anafi a lot more than the Mavic 2 Pro for personal outdoor adventures 
For a drone of its form factor and weight class, it is in my opinion the best when you consider all of the flight characteristics and features. After all, what good is a drone if you can't fit it in your camelback?